Welcome to the Centurus presentation on the impact of AI and business intelligence. In this video, we will be focusing on the impact that Watson is having on IBM Cognos Analytics. Separate videos are available for AI in Microsoft Power BI and Fabric and Tableau. Let's look at how IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is implementing AI. A long-standing product with a rich history of analytics capabilities, Cognos is no stranger to helping people uncover insights into their data. For their AI, IBM has chosen to integrate Watson into the product offerings. With the release of version 12, we see this integration stronger and more accessible to all users. For years, Cognos has moved the product out of the hands of IT staff and into the hands of analysts with a primary focus on self-service. With the new AI insights provided by Watson, this comes through loud and clear. Our first stop within the Cognos AI landscape is Explorations. Explorations have been around for a while, but we see in version 12 an emphasis on this fantastic tool. With Explorations, users can get insights into data through a number of methods. When we start a new exploration with a package or model, we get the following. From here, we can choose which columns we want to include, or we can skip and let Cognos examine our data. When we skip, it looks at the data and tries to find relationships. With this information, we see what has the most relevance on our data set and how it is impacted by other fields. We are also given a set of pre-built visualizations based on the relationship. One nice feature in Explorations is the ability to see statistical information about our data through the use of predictive strength drivers and correlations. By selecting one of the starting visualizations, insights into the data become available. Here we see what has impacted our order value and how much it is impacted. When we look at this, we can see that the quantity, product cost, unit sale price, and product type have the most impact and are correlated the highest at 81%. We can drill down further to get the predictive strength and key drivers that feed this correlation. From this view, we can go down even further. We can see exactly what's going on in the tree diagram, we can return to the original, or we could create a new card that allows us to do a single visualization, compare, or return back to the data relationships. We can also use the analytics option and the detail option to get more information on our visualization. When we click analytics here, we see the insights. If we go back to our predictive strength, this does not show anything, but we see that when we go to an individual one. On the details, we see everything that is impacting our visualizations. If we want to work with a particular piece of data, we can use explorations to build out our own visualizations. We have a number of these available and whatever works for the type of data we're looking to use. Another nice thing is the ability to compare data. We can take two visualizations and compare them side by side. While all of these AI-driven analytics are great, the big strength comes in the form of the assistant. IBM Cognos allows users to create visualizations and more through natural language queries. When we start the assistant, it'll show us what data source we are currently connected to, allow us to change or refresh this data source, and then we can start asking it questions. If we're unsure of what we wanna ask it, we can go ahead and say, suggest questions. Here we see some of the results when we ask about this data set. Let's try this with a different data set. We're now using a data module that contains coffee sales and marketing information. Let's see what happens when we suggest questions against this data set. We see what is returned and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick this one on spoilage. When we do this, it brings back a visualization. But what's more interesting is down at the bottom of that dialog box, we can actually create an entire dashboard. With one simple click, Cognos will produce a full dashboard ready to be saved and distributed. The created dashboard has an overview page, 
plus detailed pages for each sales outlet and spoilage data. Again, all of this was generated by asking one question and clicking on a single button. Now remember, this AI functionality has been available in explorations with Incognos for a while. If you're on V11 right now and not quite ready to upgrade, that's okay. You can still take advantage of all this functionality in your current environment. The biggest enhancement with regard to these features in V12 is the ability to access the assistant from any report dashboard or even the home screen. As we see here, the assistant is right here on our welcome page. Users can come right in and start asking questions about data without ever having to go to anything else. IBM's implementation of AI shares similarities to other tools, but the addition of explorations, statistics, and this quick accessibility makes it definitely stand out. As you can see from these demos, AI isn't out here replacing anyone or creating six-limbed monsters. These are designed to help, not hinder. At the same time, don't rely on AI to do your job. Is everything it's going to provide 100% accurate? No, but a lot of this has to do with your source data. No matter what tool you're using to achieve the best results, we need accurate data. Even with AI coming in to help you find new ways of looking at your data, it can't do its job against poorly structured data source. Here's where we at Centurus can help. Whether you're moving to a new tool in 2024 to take advantage of these fantastic new offerings, or you're just looking to work more efficiently with what you already have, we have the expertise to guide you on this journey. Remember, we want to leverage the power of AI and tools so this way our users can get to insights faster, they can do their job more efficiently, and hopefully become more self-sufficient. We thank you for watching this video today and hope that you have found it both informative and given you new insights into how AI is being used in IBM Cognos Analytics. As a reminder, additional videos are available for Microsoft Power BI and Fabric and Tableau.